Nay, nay, nay. Get your food. Get your food. If you say one more thing, I'm gonna knock you out. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. So as you guys know, this uh, topic, the situation that happened to this young man at a hot dog stand in Chicago, Illinois, where a 14-year-old uh, son shot and killed this young man due to the fact that he was assaulting his mother. Now, I went all over the internet went all over the podcast, went all over the blogs and everything. Now it has landed here on my desk at the Recruiter Call Channel. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now hold on. Get your food. Who? Get the cup? Who? Hey, 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 hey. Get your food. Get your food. If you say one more thing, I'm going to knock you out. Oh, my God. I said one more thing, I'm going to knock you out. So shout out to my guy D Nitty for hipping me to this story in the beginning because we did not have all of the facts. Now sometimes you might not be able to get all of the facts and you can only base your opinion on what you have in front of you but when you have all of the facts and all of the situations then you'll probably be able to formulate a better opinion which now that i have after taking some time reading the comments reading the articles and actually would put it all in perspective was actually seeing the video so i am definitely going to send a shout out to the camera culture that was there recording now I, I, i'm gonna probably say that if we did not have that video then the conversation will probably be speculatory to the point of where they was arrested and they was charged with first degree murder now without that video then it probably would have been a he say she say type of situation just like it, how it was in the beginning when the when the story actually broke because a lot of you out there and i'm and, and including myself was up under the assumption that like what's a 14 year old boy doing with a gun why he ran after the guy to continue shooting and allegedly that the young lady or his moms told him to continue to shoot or shoot somebody else it will all be speculatory if we didn't have that video so again i'm going to say shout out to that particular camera culture there's a lot to unpack in that video like why was bruh projecting all his energy on the young lady in that video we the young lady looks like she was trying to calm him down try to try to talk or whatever the case what led up to it what led up to him getting all irate and everything you know now i don't condone violence and i definitely don't condone men hitting women but in this situation right here bro just just let off like my, he's hitting her like muhammad ali style like hitting her in her head and and tried to cause bodily harm now, let me tell you this. I I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm not going to condone or, or, you know, admit the son, because if any son was in any situation, seeing his mom's getting attacked like that, whether by his father or, or definitely by a stranger, he's going to jump in and, and, and try to protect his mother at all costs. 
If anybody that you're going to give up your life for, it's definitely going to be your mother. Coming from a man's point of view, you see a stranger assaulting your mother. I am sure you is not going to stand there and watch that happens. That's not going to happen. Definitely not going to happen on with me and my mother. Definitely not going to happen with my son and his mother. Definitely not going to happen with sons and mothers in the world. It's not going to happen. I've seen situations where young men hit their father, killed their fathers, their blood because they was assaulting their mother. So you're not going to get away with that. You're not going to get away with that, sir. And it's unfortunate that you, <laughs> you chose the right one that night. Now, obviously you must have been doing that to plenty of women, probably must have been disrespectful for all women or whatever the case, but he did it to the right one that night. Um, her son pulled out her gun, which was come to find out now that was legally registered to her. She's also a concealed carry license holder as well so the gun was legal so i know the question that was being asked when we first found found out about the story when it broke how and why is this young man with a gun well the gun was in the car so when the young man seen his mom's getting assaulted you know instantly he's gonna he, he he pulled out the gun to shoot him to stop him from you know continuing assaulting his mother now i know a lot of you guys is like hey you know why why didn't anybody step in why why didn't anybody uh uh stop it before he got to that point well i'll, I'll tell you why because some some people it's not going to step in and put their lives in danger some of some of you men will y'all y'all see a lady getting assaulted and all like that of course you'll probably step in and be like bro hold up man wait wait now maybe bro had a gun and if a man did step in to stop the assault then maybe the dude will probably have projected his energy onto that person that was there to stop him from continuing doing what he was doing. That's why a lot of men is not going to step in and, and put their quote unquote lives in a situation. As you guys seen in the video, a couple of dudes ran. They ran out. And listen i i know that i said at first i appreciate the camera culture for capturing the video because without that video this young man and his mother will still be in jail today that that person with the camera could have stepped in too but again i know like you guys say y'all not going to step in because y'all don't want to put y'all lives in the situation y'all come around and probably say this is it's not my business well i i get it it might not be your business i i get it sometimes it's better to stay out of it than get involved with it but this man was literally beating down this woman this helpless woman and it didn't seem like she was aggressive she was you know she came with that that uh masculine energy or anything like that looks like they was just whatever it was she tried to talk him down and luckily luckily for her her son was there and he stepped up to the plate and did something about it 
it's unfortunate that this man lost his life over it but what can you do i mean the young man had to had to do something to stop his mother from getting assaulted did he have the thought of killing this man maybe not but with with everything that was going on and all the adrenaline that was pumping and all like that here then I, I i don't know for the update of course all charges have been dropped um they are out of jail they should be back home i would probably suggest her and her family make uh make the appropriate preparations to probably move out of that area or move out of the state you know for for safety reasons because if this young man was volatile ain't no telling how his family is going to react now for safety sakes you know uh y'all y'all might want to put a plan together and, and make sure that you guys are safe going into the future because ain't no telling what type of retaliation that may or may not come from this man's family in the future let me stop the show right quick a lot of you guys is giving opinions about should this young man be arrested uh should it be self-defense and a lot of you guys gave y'all opinions on it me my thought is simple i I, I honestly don't think that this young man in this particular situation as we find out as as it goes no this this young man shouldn't have been arrested uh she sh he shouldn't have been charged you know because it's self-defense you know regardless of the fact of how old he was I mean he could have been he could have been a grown man he could have been a young man he could have been an adolescent no matter what it is he was there to defend his mother and that's exactly what he did so is self the, the self-defense rule applies here at least in my opinion but what i got to say before i get on up out of here is listen i don't condone violence i don't condone hitting women and I definitely don't condone men hitting mothers in front of their son. Well, even though he didn't know that that was hit, that was her son. But I'm just saying, just, you know, if you could de-escalate the situation, try to de-escalate it. Sometimes putting hands on people or doing something that that will cause bodily harm to a person might not might not work out good for you bro i'm just saying big cheese got it locked boy want you to love me all night yeah take me down want you to make me real wet yeah swim around want you to take it like a g you don't make a sound